Well, one of the most classic Chet Atkins tunes is Freight Train. So that one requires a little alternating bass like this. So I thought I'd write an easier version of this that kind of gets you going with alternating bass. And while you get used to grabbing the melody notes around that. So we'll start with uh, some really simple things in the melody where we're not moving around a lot. So we'll start with just plucking the second and fifth strings together and that bass is going to go back. Make sure that that ring finger on the left hand, the third finger, is alternating back and forth between the sixth and the fifth string as you go there. So we've got pluck, then four, six, move over, four, six. And then the melody is right there on the third string and the second string. And then a G. Let's add that little seventh there. And then we can let go of it to make a regular G chord and move the pinky over to the melody note, which is on the D, second string. And then here again, your melody is right there on the third string and, uh, and the second. And that brings you right back to the C chord. Then your melody's on the first string to the uh, second string and back to the first string. It's going to go to an F chord with uh, the pinky down on the melody note. So you could do that either way. And then let go of everything just to walk down the melody. back to C. All right, that's completely doable, right? Um, and then we'll go to the, the second part because we want to get used to doing some of the little hammer-ons. So we've got bass. That's one of those places where it hammers on and right about the time your finger hits, then you play the fourth string with a thumb. So you've you let go of that first string and then bring it back to the E chord. And here on the F6, add the pinky. Give that pinky a little wiggle. So, gives a little soul there. And then we're just going to walk down the scale and back up. Okay, find those notes there. And the bass is just going to go back and forth between six and four. Then walk down, walk back up, back to your E. Hammer on, back to this. Give it a little wiggle. Walk down and back up. Back to C. G. You can choose your little ending there. Or drop that little A note there. That's a nice little addition to that. And then we simply repeat the first section and you're done. And at the very end, we'll slide into that. That's something that you'll hear that a lot. Starting one fret below and then sliding into it. Ends, ends with a three finger chord. Um, and if you notice, you'll see these little three finger chords uh, scattered all over the place. So sometimes it's sweeter just to play three notes of the chord instead of the whole chord. So we're calling that Chet's Train. <laughs>